Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBP Nuts video series on Linglist interview question series and this is number maybe 12. Oh, so Linglist, right? There you go. This is your Linglist and this is a palindrome. So you should know what is palindrome meaning. Palindrome is like if you have written something like this, then this is palindrome. You read from here or here from both the direction. This is like 121. So we have solved these kind of problems with the string like check if string is palindrome or not. Now this is going to be a ling list because ling list have its own challenge that you have to actually go to the next node in order to get the number or, or the next digit like from here to here you have to do this next operation right. So it's not like you can directly check this guy with this guy and say that okay zeroth position is actually equal to equal to fourth position. No we cannot say that. Reason is we don't have the direct access to these nodes, right? So what would be the best way? There can be multiple ways like the link list being the numbers or the string in a link list is causing the problem, right? So what you can do, you can traverse over all the nodes and put all those nodes in a more favorable data structure like stack or you can maybe create a string out of these nodes and then do the operation of palindrome finding on those data structure, not the link list. But then that is like a overkill. You have to use another data structure. You have to traverse this whole thing. And then you have to apply that palindrome thing into those data structure. I mean, using on top of those data structure. But can we do something to actually iterate over this and find whether it is palindrome or not? The answer is yes. We'll use a recursive approach. So we'll have two pointers. First, we'll have this left. Okay, so we'll have a beginning pointer. And with recursion, what you will do, you will go till the end. Okay, you will hit the end stack. So this we call left, this will call the right. Okay, now as soon as you hit the bottom stack, meaning the last node in the link list, you will start comparing that guy with this guy. And then as it is recursion, you have to come back to your previous stack. And yeah, this is single link list. If this would have been a double link list, then there was no problem, right? You just have to go till the end and then you will traverse back because you can traverse back without using stack or the stack, which is inbuilt if you use recursion. So this is single link list. That's why we are facing all these problems. So when you're coming back or the previous stack, you're standing here with this right variable correct and you just have to move this left here and then you compare is this two equal to this two yes both are equal then you will move this guy i mean this pointer here and this pointer here so left and right both are at same location and they will check three is equal to three yes it is then what they will do left will go here left will come here and right will come here they will check again two is equal to two Yes, it is. Why I am crossing now? Because this is recursion. You have to unwind these stacks, right? Like you have to go to the top stack where you started. So it will be a clean recursion if you don't break from here. I mean, you can break from here, but still you have to go recursively. It's just that you will save yourself from comparing yourself with the node, right? But yeah, you can implement that also. No problem. So as I said, we'll compare this with this and then we'll go to the last stack and then we would have done this left is equal to left. Next, we will reach here. This one is equal to this one. Correct. Then we'll go from here and we did not found anything which was not equal. So this is palindrome. Cool, right? Let's see the code. So this is our code here. It is very simple. We have this is palindrome utility function. And as I said, we will have a left which we'll pass here as a double pointer. This is very important. I'll, I'll tell you why this is double pointer. And then we'll pass the same, I mean, this is the right pointer in the beginning. Okay. So we'll pass this as the right pointer and the address of this node as the left pointer. And see, we're checking if right is equal to equal to null, we'll just say true because we will hit at this null and we have to return true so that we'll process this further. So see, after this, just we are iterating over the link list, like we are going right next and keep going like from here to here to here to here. And this left is exactly same what we received here. Okay. Now, when you reach to this guy, you 
come back from here to here again in this stack. So basically we had these many stacks here and you just went to a stack and there you found that, okay, this is null because you sent a null from here, correct? Then you came back from this stack and you are standing here. So basically you're standing with this node. And now this is palindrome boolean is true. And we'll check before going further, we'll check if this boolean is, is equal to equal to false, we'll not go any further and we'll just return false from here. Because let's suppose this was three and this was two. Then you have found that, okay, this is not a palindrome. Then why would you go next and find whether it is palindrome or not? If it is not a palindrome for any node, then it's not a palindrome. So this is for that check. And then we will have our basic check. This guy check with this guy. So this left, so this is double pointer. Then we have to type cast this or to dereference it and then ask for the data. So this data, meaning left's data is one and right's data is also one. If it is equal, then the result would be true. So we'll have true here and then we'll make left's next is equal to left. And we are returning true from here, what we got here. So if we return true from here to here, we'll receive true here itself, right? Then this is not false. We'll go ahead and do the same thing. Because we did this left is equal to left's next, we are reaching to this guy as left and this guy as right because we did came back to the stack. So we are now pointing at this one, right? So this is your right, this is your left. So similarly, you will keep doing this operation and you will be able to successfully find that whether it is palindrome or not. Now let's come to this double pointer thing. Actually, see, you are taking the address. Why? Because you want to keep this consistent throughout the stack, meaning this left should be common throughout the stack. I mean, there should be only one left. And when you say left is equal to left next, they all understand that, okay, where this left is pointing now. Otherwise, if you were just simply pass by a single pointer, then it's just like a pass by value and doing this left is equal to left next won't reflect to the parent stacks. Okay. So if you do left is equal to left next in this stack, I mean, this is null in this stack, I mean, then that left position will not be reflected here if it is not double pointer. Or in order to understand this in a more simple way, if you have a function, maybe fun, and if you take something by integer reference and maybe R and then integer maybe K. And if you are calling yourself with R, and maybe K again, then no matter how many stacks are cre created for this, this R is exactly the same for all the stacks. This R is same, whereas this K will be different. It looks like this K is exactly same th as this K, but it is not. Whenever you assign something, whenever you call this K, I mean, with this variable, a new variable will get constructed. I mean, new variable will get constructed here also, here also, here also. So it's like a different, different K in every different, different stacks. Whereas this reference is like a single. So if you do some modification in this R in this call stacks, it will be like visible to all the stacks, no matter you're going downwards or upward, meaning child stack or the parent stack, it will be visible to all the stacks. So that's what this double pointer is doing here. Okay. I think this is clear now. Good trick, right? Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos. Thanks for watching guys.